Hi everyone, welcome to another session of cooking with Ella RV. Now you've seen me make my Johnny burritos before. You've seen the jerk, um, what is it, the jerk turkey? Uh, did I do jerk chicken? I don't remember, but you've seen one form before. You've seen one um, with a concoction of different things that I had left over. And now today I'm going to show you what I do with my leftovers. Um, and so if you have not seen my salmon uh, pilau balls um, video, take a look at that so you can see how to make the insides. So I'm gonna use my leftovers from that inside and I'm going to make Johnny burritos with that inside. The only thing is I'm going to be adding um, some beans to that one because it's a, it's a Johnny burrito after all, it needs beans. All right, so let me show you some of the ingredients that I will be using for today. Of course, we have the leftover of the salmon pilau balls. I'll be adding, as I mentioned, I'll be adding some uh, beans. Of course, for the actual uh, dough part for the Johnny Burrito, we need flour, we need baking powder, we need sugar, we need salt, and Crisco. This is the one that I like to use. Also, on the inside of my Johnny Burrito and the inside of the dough, I'll also be adding some some cheese to that mixture that I mentioned earlier. And in this particular case, but today I'll be doing some um, pepper jack. There you go. I'll be doing some pepper jack cheese today. But you know, you can use whatever you like, whatever your taste buds call for. You have your preferences, so feel free to use whatever you want. But this is these are the ingredients that I will be using today. And of course, you know, I am a stickler for making sure that your hands and your nails are clean because we're going to be working with some dough. So of course, remove all your rings, your bracelets, your watches, whatever. Make sure your fingernails are clean. Don't be trying to serve people no contaminated mess. So I said it. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna start uh, with my um, dough. So I'll be showing you what I'll do next. Okay, just to refresh your memory. And, then, and again, if you have not seen the salmon palau balls, um, video and how to make this, uh, then you need to go ahead and take a look at it again. But in here, there's uh, Nor Normandy vegetables. There's four cans of salmon. Obviously, this is a small portion now, but this is this is what I put in. Four cans of salmon, of course, lots of herbs. Season it up, and of course, rice. So I don't know if you can tell here what it is. So this is going to form my inside for my Johnny Burrito, and I'm going to add this. So now I'm going to just actually put them all together, mix them all up together in this bowl, and then go from there with the actual dough. One reminder, with the peas, with the beans, you don't want that liquid that comes with the beans. You don't want that in there. So when you're using these canned goods, pour those things out. So again, I'm getting ready to pour that out. And of course, I showed you last time how I, how I do that. Of course, do it again. Squeeze, pour all of that out. You don't want any of that preservative stuff in what you're making. So pour it out. And in some cases you want to rinse your beans um, as well. So it all depends on what you like, but definitely take the liquid out. If you want to rinse your bean, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine, but pour that extra stuff out, okay? okay so I've added the beans and now about to go ahead and um, mix that all up. Okay, if I've mixed it all up in there now, so that one's just ready to go and waiting. Now in this one, I'm gonna start my dough. And of course, if you've watched, if you've been watching my Ala Avi videos, then you'll know that the dough for the Johnny Burrito is from my Johnny Cake. It's my Johnny Cake dough, or, or rather Journey Cake dough. And so that's what I'm gonna make here in preparation for these Johnny Burritos. And I do apologize again. You know, if you've been following me, you know that I don't measure anything, so sorry about that. That's just how I cook. You got the ingredients and you just do things to taste and figure out the rest, okay? So right now I have here the flour. Um, this is a tablespoon, so that much I can tell you. <laughs> and I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in two and a half in here. But again, do everything to taste, you know? Do everything to taste. So I have here two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Then I'm going to do one teaspoon of salt. And here we go, one teaspoon of salt. 
before we start mixing everything up, we need some baking powder. So I'm going to do, this one is a double acting one, so I'm just going to do, um, yeah, this is a double acting, so I'm just going to do one tablespoon of this baking powder. Here we have one tablespoon of baking powder. Okay, then you just mix everything up before you do anything else. You mix it all up. You want to make sure that you get it, um, you know, mixed in well. You know, you're trying to sort of kind of get a homogeneous mi mixture as much as you can. So I'm going to mix this up some more. And then I'll be back to show you what's next. All right, everything's all mixed. Next up is the Crisco. Like again, I'm adding the butter flavor, but you can do the regular normal Crisco, that's fine. But what you need, you need one tablespoon of this. No more than a tablespoon, okay? You don't want it to be too much. So this is enough. Okay. See? More reasons why your fingers need to be clean. Get all of it in. Okay. All right, so now you're going to add water, right? So... You're gonna add water. You know, I've been doing this a while, so I kind of know how much water to add, but essentially what you wanna do is you're gonna be using your hands to knead. So you're gonna add water. You want this to be all blended in here with this flour. So you're gonna just keep adding water as needed until all of this is blended in together and then you have a nice looking dough. So I need some more water. So I'm going to add some more water and continue doing this and then I'll be back. Okay, the dough is finished, um, mixed all up and you can see here, see? You need to be able to see that. It needs to be able to depress like that um, when you make it, okay? See, no, nothing came off of my hand or anything. All right, next is to prepare your, your cheese. Um, get your rolling pin ready and an area for you to work. Okay, when I say prepare the cheese, this is what I mean. So you take one of the sliced cheese, break it in half, and you just prepare it here because we're gonna be using it in our dough. So I'll be showing you that um, as I get ready to roll. So you just take a piece of dough, right? You put it on here, and then it's time to roll. All right, so I'm gonna be rolling this dough, and I have it here on this wax paper that does not want to cooperate right now. Stay still. Right, so okay. I've rolled out this dough. So what happens next is you remember this cheese that I told you about? So we need to put some cheese in the middle. So in this particular case here, the cheese go in the middle. If you have smaller pieces of cheese, then you could put one on each side and put the ingredients in the middle, but in this particular case, I'm putting the cheese here in the middle. Then I should actually get, let me get a, um, a spoon. All right, so then you take a spoon or whatever you're comfortable in using. You pack the middle up. You don't want to pack it up too much, right? Because you still want to be able to close it and we're doing the envelope close which i've shown before but i'm going to show it again put a little bit in this edge right there okay see not skimping on the meat <laughs> all right so we're going to do an envelope close and what does that mean this wax paper and me falling out today Okay, but essentially what it means is we do up here. Okay. 
Then you're gonna fold in the side. Okay, I'm gonna need my hand because this wax paper is doing something. I'll show you in a minute. All right, this is why it's called the envelope fold. So I pull the sides up to come up. You see, it's looking like an envelope. And then the next step is just to, to close it with the top, push this back, and then you fold it over. All right, so essentially this is what it looks like. You know, it definitely could look a little bit more neater, but working with one hand and trying to, to film at the same time has its complications. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And when you're frying, I'm going to show you in a minute, but you want to fry with this part down, right? And this part up. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. All right, I've done quite a few. I have about three more uh, to roll up, but it's time to start frying. All right, everything's all rolled. Now it's time to do the frying. Let me put um, a napkin on this plate so that way I have something somewhere for me to put these Johnny burritos. Not too, too much, but enough to cover the pan and a little bit more so that way it's not too oily, but it does the frying that it needs to do. So Time to start the frying. Turn the stove on, medium heat. Now, let's wait for it to heat up. Now they're frying. By the way, I'm using canola oil, in case you were wondering. Well, the last three is frying. And we have a whole set over there. All right, my Johnny burritos are finished. And one thing I didn't mention, please be careful when you're, um, I'm usually using the deep fryer and this time I use the frying pan. So you can't put the fryer up too high. You don't want it to start burning too easily. So I have a couple of them that started burning a little bit um, because I turned to do something else and I forgot how high I had the stove. So just be careful with that. But otherwise they came out really good. So hope you enjoy. If you try to make it, hope you enjoy and hope it comes well. All right, taste test now. Let's see. Gary? Yes, yes. Hey. Hello. Right, I made some salmon Johnny burritos and I want you to be the first tester. I am the first tester. Let's see how this tastes. Should be cooled off already. Hear the crunch? Is it still hot inside? Let's see the middle. It's very good. Mmm. Mm. Can you do one more bite so I can get a big, better picture of the inside? Mmm. Yummy, yummy. All right, folks. And that is the Johnny Salmon Johnny Burritos. I'll be taking the rest of this. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. All right. Just so you get a little bit of a closer look in the middle of these Johnny burritos, these salmon Johnny burritos. Check that out. Yes. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yep. All right, folks, so that'll do it. My salmon Johnny burritos are finished mm. hope you enjoyed this video hope you're able to recreate this and have yourself some wonderful tasting and i call it a treat but it's it can be for dinner for lunch whatever it is but i call it a treat because it's just that good so anyway i hope you enjoy and take care until another session with cooking with ala rv <laughs> peace everyone take care